Is that? Is that Ahsoka? They, they said R7. Is that? Is that Ahsoka? Small Screen Reviews with Clint Baker. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Clint coming to you at Small Screen with another Bad Batch recap. Man, guys, it is good to see you. It's been a crazy week, and we are back with more Bad Batch. I'm excited. This episode was another short one. They can't, I feel like they're getting shorter and shorter. It was 4 minutes and 22 seconds, but it was... Good four minutes of 22 seconds, and it ended with some good stuff. It got me thinking. I was thinking all night. Um, I stayed up all night watching the show again, and uh, uh, pretty much where the show starts is at Sid's place. Remember Sid? Sid was the one that sent them to go save Moochie. Um, on the last episode. So they're at SIDS, and it pretty much opens with uh, Echo teaching uh, uh, Omega how to shoot a bow. And uh, and he's like, you gotta practice, kid. And she's like, I don't want to. And he's like, kid, if you want accuracy, you gotta practice. And she's like, I've already hit the target three times. Um, and anyway, so uh, so they're doing that. Um, and then, uh, I don't know if you remember Sid, who is, uh, you know, a.k.a. Carla from Cheers sounding lady. Uh, she comes in and, and uh, says, all right, guys, knock it off. I got a job for you. Yeah, I need you guys to go to Corellia and get a, uh, a uh, 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 what are they called? Damn it. A tactical droid. Uh, what? We're not working for you, uh, Hunter says. You know, we're not working for you. And uh, she said, yeah, you are. And basically, they don't have any money. She's like, you need money? You're going to keep working for me. And so uh, so they end up going. And he says, fair enough. And so they go. They go to Corellia. They're going to go uh, get a tactical droid. What's so special about a tactical droid? Well, a tactical droid is a droid that learns and uh they were used in the clone wars and you got a bunch of dumb battle droids but these learn and they know how to beat clone troopers they've learned uh so they're valuable you can get one of those things and make a lot of money for it because it's got a lot of intel in its head so um they get there um they land and they they sneak onto this uh this factory or plant uh, it's a decommissioned plant they basically melt down the droids uh and they get there and they they're, they're going to infiltrate this place there's police droids all over the place um and uh th- and so they tell uh, they tell Wrecker Wrecker you go up high you're going to be the eyes oh why do I got to go up high well, that's a crosshair's job they're like well crosshair's not here so you're going to have to uh, go do that for us and pretty much we don't see crosshair this in- entire episode um, so he goes up top, um, and then the kid, they, of course, they always tell the kid, kid, you stay here. So the kid stays there. Okay, I don't want to, but I'll listen. Uh, and so the kid sit, stays there and, of course, never listens. And uh, so they go down. They're going to go sh- shut down uh, everything, uh, the security and all that. And they sneak down, and they're running around. Um, and Omega is like, guys, I see a, I see a head. And it's a, uh, it's... It's not a whole droid. It's just the head. I see the heed, and so they go. They're like, "Okay, I'm on it," and they go down to get the uh, to go get the heed, and uh, and who is there? There's somebody there, and they're like, "Oh, that's also trying to get the heed," and so they go down there and uh, they start fighting over this thing, and with these people, the the shields come up on their on their helmet, and it's two ladies, two familiar ladies, two ladies we last saw on. Season seven of Clone Wars, uh, Trace and Rafa Martell, who are friends with Ahsoka Tano. Um, they're there trying to get this stuff. That's what they do. They're always pulling scams and trying to make money. So, uh, of course, they're going to go be there uh, trying to get this valuable uh, head. And so uh, so they start fighting. Basically, hot potato ensues. The thing, they start knocking it out of each other's hands and they're fighting. They're not hurting each other, but they're just trying to get this thing. And... Uh, uh, finally, Omega's like, I see it. She jumps down there. Okay, I'll quit impersonating Omega. She jumps down to go get this thing. And uh, next thing you know, she ends up getting stuck in the conveyor. And she's going to go down and be uh, lavaed with the rest of the droids. And uh, and it's like, help, guys, I'm in trouble. And uh, and so Hunter, of course, like, I'm on my way, kid. Uh, jumps down, goes to rescue him. Um, meanwhile, they have to, uh, the half of the the gang is uh, is saying, guys, we've got police droids coming in like crazy. We got to do something. Um, 
And mainly, it's because uh, it's because uh, uh, Omega's bow. She was she was holding off Rafa, or I don't know which one it was, but holding her off with the bow and her weak little arms um, uh, shot and and uh, basically set off the alarms. Uh, Sid earlier in the episode goes over and pick up picks up the bow and is like, ding ding ding, shoots three bullseyes and uh, and was like, kids, your arms, you need to strengthen your arms, kid. And so uh, anyway. Uh, which kind of showed that Sid's a badass. But uh, anyway, back to the middle of the episode. Uh, the alarms are called. They need to shut everything down. And uh, so they yell at Wrecker, who's up top. Wrecker, we need you to go over and, and swing over and shut this thing off. So Wrecker's like, oh, no, because it's a big a big gap. Um, okay, so he, he swings across. Barely makes it uh, and hits his head on the on the thing, uh, shuts the thing off, pulls pulls the thing. But it, now he's having headaches and he collapses on his knees. He's like, ah! Oh. And then he starts saying, uh, "Good soldiers, good soldiers, oh, good soldiers." And it's like, uh oh, he's going he's going full crosshair now. And which we kind of already had a suspicion that was happening. You know what I mean? Like he's been having these headaches. I'm like, I think that t- that chip is trying to trying to activate and. Uh, yeah, so we're, there's going to be some drama there with that. He managed to sh- manages to shake the headache off and get back to normal. Um, they manage to uh, they get the the head right, and at this point, uh, uh, Trace and Rafa Martel and the Bad Batch have kind of joined forces because now they're surrounded by police droids, and they said, that, you know, the only way we're going to get out of this thing is if we use the head uh, and and command all the droids. And, uh, you know, tech is like, that's that's brilliant. OK, so they they wire into this thing, hot wire into this thing. And then uh, tech sticks this thing on there and then sends the broadcast to all the droids. All of a sudden, all the droids start waking up and fighting the police droids. So there's police droids are being attacked by the battle droids. And this gives them a chance to get out of there uh, somewhere in the scuffle uh, in the, the mess. Uh, the head flies out of their hand ends up falling down into the lava and getting destroyed and uh and uh, uh rafa and trace are like great that we needed that and he's like well so did we we needed money they're like yeah we're we need this for a cause there's there's people that are trying to fight the empire right now we needed that intel is uh, to to help the the uh the rebellion basically and uh and you can but you wouldn't get it you're just a clone you know and uh Hunter kind of sat there in his Rambo-esque glory, and you could see his wheels turning for a second. And a little bit later, he yeah, he said, basically, they're like, okay, well, we got to get out of here. Um, so then the uh, the uh, Martell sisters say, uh, R7, come on, we need you. Come come get us out of here. R7 swoops I'm like, wait a minute, R7? Uh, and then I got distracted because all of a sudden, Hunter says, here, take this. And he gives him this little wand thing that that uh, Tech had stuck to it. And she's like, what is that? He's like, that's the intel from the from the droid head. Uh, really? You're going to give me this? He's like, yeah, it, it's better that it goes to a good cause and it is used. You can use it better than we can. So go go ahead and take it. And she's like, maybe you're not like all the other dro- all the other clones. <laughs> maybe you're not like all the other clones. Um, so, yeah, so that was cool. And, and uh, all now... That's Bad Batch helping the rebellion, which is uh, it, it takes the uh, the traitor thing to a new level, um, which is cool. Um, and so anyway, so that's cool. So then, so they pretty much get out of there. Everybody escapes, but uh, at the end, you see the Martell sisters in the ship, and then they call somebody, and they've got the droid with them, the R seven droid. I'm like, is that perhaps R seven A seven? The uh the uh, that that would be uh Ahsoka's astromech droid. Yeah, that's that's the only R seven I know of. Um. So anyway, and that's what I thought earlier before I got distracted. And then at the end, they're they're talking to a hologram of somebody in a white robe. Um. You only see the edge of them. Um. But they pretty much are like, yeah, uh, we found these these clones. They're uh, they're. I don't know, malfunctioning clones, bad batch of clones, whatever. Uh, uh, and and we know where they are. We'll send you the basically the info. 
Okay, so I think it's Ahsoka Tano at the end. I don't know for sure, but it makes sense. It's the Martell sisters. Those are her friends. R7 is her is her astromech droid, um, and she's with Rex, I'm pretty sure, and they almost saw that they almost ran into each other when they were visiting the deserter on, on the other earlier episode. So I'm pretty sure that's them, and I'm pretty sure we're going to see her on this episode. Hopefully sooner than later. I hope they don't make this like the season finale ahsoka shows up like throw her in now let's party i'm i'm ready to see to see that like for sure and there's a whole bunch of other uh whole bunch of other characters from clone wars and stuff that i'd love to see uh cad bane let's see him i want to see some of that guy uh, uh there's a bunch so anyway it was an exciting episode um it was it was cool to see uh, someone from Clone Wars pop in again, and uh, and exciting to sit there and wonder after the episode after the short twenty four tw- minute twenty two second episodes over, I'm still kind of theorizing who this could be, what this could mean, and that's what I love uh, to do with shows. That's what made Wandavision fun. Uh, that's what makes all these shows fun. Is if you have to wait a week uh, for. Another episode, you better give me something to think about. And they did. So thank you for that. And uh, guys, next episode will be out next week, and I will be here to talk about it. So guys, make sure if you didn't like, share, subscribe, tell your friends about our channel. We've got we've got uh, Bad Batch recaps. We have uh, reaction videos on uh, on on movie trailers, and we do live streams and talk about all kinds of fun stuff. So we'll see you guys soon. Clint Baker from Small Screen signing off. See you later, guys. Maybe you're not like all the other clones. Move along. Move along.